Hope officially has his APAC babysitter. J.D. Vance is an APAC whore and an Israeli first American sellout. Hang on, let's go back. 167,324 dollars from the pro-Israel lobby. JD Vance. He said he's America first. Last time I checked, America was not in the Middle East. Well, physically. And yet, you have somebody like JD Vance that has his loyalties to Netanyahu. Why was JD Vance picked again? There's a lot that happened over the weekend. One of the things that happened was a major event where Donald Trump was shot in the ear. Well, really, a bullet grazed his ear because of a young 20-year-old man that decided that he wanted to take out the president. This was in Pennsylvania. And that was big news over the weekend. And in that backdrop of what has happened, that has served Donald Trump essentially a higher chance of winning the presidency. And because of what has happened, it also gave Donald Trump a more of a backdrop to appear more uh, stronger because he survived an assassination attempt. Um, I, I put survive in air quotes because there's some things that are kind of fishy that just doesn't add up, but I litigated that on RBN when I talked about it. But Donald Trump decided to pick a new VP. And this VP seems like someone who is gung ho about being uh, a MAGA supporter. But JD Vance is as corporate as they come. For, for people who watch my channel who support Donald Trump, Donald Trump he's got y'all fooled. Oh baby, he got y'all fooled. Just like Joe Biden got a lot of people fooled, Donald Trump got a lot of people fooled too. Let's just go into J.D. Vance's Wikipedia. Let's just, just, let's just go into that real quick. So it says James David Vance, born James Donald Bowman. He had a name change. Uh, so he has a birthday coming up. So he's 39. 39 years old. Looking like he's been doing some hard living. It says is an American author, venture cap. Lord and Lord, venture capitalist, politician, lawyer, and former United States Marine serving as the junior United States Senator from Ohio. A member of the Republican Party, he is the party's nominee for vice president in the 2024 election. He is the first millennial vice presidential candidate and the first to have served in the Marine Corps. He was born in Middletown, Ohio. Vance served in the Marine Corps and attended Ohio State University, graduated in 2009. He graduated from Yale Law School in 2013. Y'all can say whatever you want, but when it comes to people like Donald Trump and now J.D. Vance, 
are they really men of the people? Because ultimately, you went to Yale? You went to Yale, bro. You got money. Same thing with Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis also went to Yale. See, people like Donald Trump will talk about like he's one of the man of the people, but in reality, he's not picking somebody that is uh, from a state school, that went to a state law school, that is, uh, you know, one of us as workers. No, 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 no. This, uh, to me, this pick was strategic. And J.D. Vance, Nick of RBN called it. J.D. Vance is, is, one of, is Donald Trump's handler. Oh, boy, we're going to get into it because J.D. Vance, J.D. Vance is a flip-flopper. He flips-flops more than a catfish on a boat. Let's continue this. Just a little bit more about him. Uh, it says his 2016 memoir, Hillbilly Elegy, become a New York Times bestseller and was made into an Oscar-nominated feature film in 2020. Hang on. Th you know who this reminds me of? David Sirota. You know, uh, uh, David Sirota is, you know, quite regarded in liberal circles. And he wrote a screenplay, and that was turned into the movie Don't Look Up. J.D. Vance did the same thing. Essentially. We don't want the elites. Your dude just picked an elite. <laughs> this is so sick. Jeez Louise, the duopoly is idiotic. All right, so... It says it described his upbringing in the Rust Belt, poverty, drug addiction, and Appalachian culture. It attracted significant press attention during the 2016 United States presidential election. Vance defeated Democratic nominee Tim Ryan in the 2022 United States election in Ohio. I forgot about Tim Ryan. Uh, it says initially opposed to Trump's candidacy in 2016 election. Vance has since become a strong supporter of Donald Trump on July 15, 2024. Trump officially nominated Vance as his running mate at the Republican National Convention. So that little part right there that talked about he was a critic of Trump, well, <laughs> that's an understatement. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Nick because Nick gives a quick breakdown of J.D. Vance. And yeah, it's going to be really interesting. Um, let's see here. Oh, first of all, let me share this because um, I want to share this really quick first. Uh, there's uh, there's the um, there was a video that I wanted to show. Oh, I know what it's at. You guys are going to, th this is cringe. Oh, this is so cringe. <laughs> Let me share this with y'all. You guys are going to be like, what? This is JD Vance? Yep. This is Donald Trump's <laughs> nominee. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let's go. Are you a racist? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, look, yo. You cannot make this stuff up. I'm telling you, bruh, this... <laughs> wait, wait. This sounds like something off of a skit off Chappelle show. Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? The media calls us racist for wanting to build Trump's wall. 
<laughs> Let's continue. They censor us, but it doesn't change the truth. Joe Biden's open border is killing Ohioans with more illegal. Hang on, wait a minute. But Joe Biden continued to building the border wall. That's that's not conjecture. That's not hyperbole. That's fact. And in fact, wasn't it the Cato Institute that actually said that Joe Biden was actually deporting more more people than Donald Trump? So he already is lying to you already. If you're a conservative and if you are planning to vote for Trump, this is the guy that Trump picked. And he's already lying to you already. This was back in 2022. Are you a racist? <laughs> I hit the holla. Let's go. More illegal drugs and more Democrat voters pouring into this country. This issue is personal. I nearly lost my mother to the poison coming across our border. No child should grow up an orphan. I'm J.D. Vance, and I approve this message because whatever they call us, we will put America first. Okay. He says he's America first. That's what he says. Oh, boy. Um, not exactly. So let me share this. The, the, Nick knocked it out of the park. Let's go into who J.D. Vance is. And then we'll break it down. Ohio Sanders, J.D. Vance, only one day as the GOP vice presidential nominee floated the idea of bombing Iran. A lot of people recognize that we need to do something with Iran, but not these weak little bombing runs. If you're going to punch the Iranians, you punch them hard, and that's what he did when he took out Soleimani. By the way, that action, people said that it would lead to broader war. It actually brought peace. Surprise, surprise, another American politician who is elevated, who wanted to go to war with Iran on behalf of Israel. Donald Trump officially has his APAC babysitter. J.D. Vance is an APAC whore and an Israeli first American sellout. Hang on, let's go back. 167,324 dollars from the pro-Israel lobby. J.D. Vance. He said he's America first. Last time I checked, America was not in the Middle East. Well, physically. And yet, you have somebody like J.D. Vance that has his loyalties to Netanyahu. Why was J.D. Vance picked again? Mm -hmm. I thought he was America first. If you're getting your money from a foreign government, wouldn't that mean you're compromised? Doesn't Donald Trump also get money from the Israel lobby? <gasps> Just like Joe Biden? Would it be hyperbole for me to say that our entire government has been compromised? Let's continue. Take it away, Nick. Oh. So, of course, Donald Trump will select him as his vice president. The Make Israel Great Again movement strikes again. J.D. Vance is a capitalist. J.D. Vance doesn't believe that the American people deserve health care. J.D. Vance doesn't believe the American people deserve free higher education. But J.D. Vance believes the American taxpayer should subsidize Israeli defense so Israel can provide free health care and free education for their people. Isn't it interesting? H hang on. So he doesn't believe in education, free education, free health care for us, but he's cool with it going to people in another country.
is he really America first? Because it doesn't feel like it to me. It feels like he's put there. He was chosen, not by Trump. Or if he was chosen by Trump, then who has their hand up Trump's behind and moving his mouth like a puppet? Boy. Wake up, people. Interesting how Republicans like J.D. Vance is in favor of free health care for the Israelis, but not the American people. J.D. Vance became a senator because he was propped up by Zionist billionaires. Peter Till was his largest donor and the person who personally lobbied him to Trump. Peter Till has an AI company that took many military contracts to help the United States and the Israeli military with targeting. This AI is what Israel used in order to target Palestinians for their indiscriminate slaughter. Peter Till has directly financially benefited from genocide and will make a fortune in a potential war with Iran. Peter Till props up J.D. Vance to incite genocidal rhetoric towards the Palestinians and promote war with Iran that will greatly benefit Peter Till and his company. So I want to make this abundantly clear. If you have, if you are a conservative and you're sick and tired of these multi-billion dollar corporations always uh, shafting the American people, well then why in the world are you for somebody like Trump who picked J.D. Vance, really who is a puppet of the military industrial complex? If you're a conservative, why are you allowing this puppet of the military industrial complex to infiltrate the government? By the way, the government has always been this way. Some people just haven't noticed it yet. Wait till y'all hear about Operation Paperclip. That will really blow your minds. But see, see what I mean? Trying to continually get us into World War III. J.D. Vance may be a veteran. But just like Black people, we have people who are Black people who have turned their backs on their community. I'm... I'm willing to say J.D. Vance has also turned his back on his fellow service members. Because a fellow service member would not be pushing to go to war, especially with countries like Iran, in order to put more money in the pockets of the military industrial complex. Because ultimately, the best support you can give to our troops is to make sure that they do not have to be cannon fodder for another war. But that's who J.D. Vance is. You think we're not going to have a war hawk in office? Oh, baby. My sweet summer child. That's who he is. Let's continue. Finish this up. This is Donald Trump strengthening the swamp. And once again, selling out the American people to Zionist traitors. It's, tra it's treachery. That's who J.D. Vance is. Treacherous person. Right? Let me share this as well. Because I think it's important that we know who this guy is, he's going to be within the heartbeat of the presidency, meaning if something happens to Donald Trump, he becomes president. This man is 39 years old. 39. He is two less than two months younger than me. And he's at the service 
of the Israel lobby and the military industrial complex. Look, Donald Trump is one cheeseburger away from sleeping with the fishes. You don't think that the military industrial complex, the big banks and the central banks and the Israel lobby don't make sure they don't have a man on the inside? Let's take a look here. This is J.D. Vance. This is who Donald Trump picked. The Chinese have a foreign policy of building roads and bridges and feeding poor people. And I think that we should pursue a foreign policy, a diplomacy of respect and a foreign policy that is not rooted in moralizing. It's rooted in the national interest of this country. Oh, that's also J.D. Vance. He was talking about, hey, you know, we should get along with China. Watch him flip flop. He's going to flip-flop because guess what? Who keeps demonizing China? Wasn't it not Donald Trump who keeps demonizing China? J.D. Vance is like, hey, they're doing pretty good. We should start being more like them. Who is J.D. Vance? A lot of people are just like, well, we don't know who the hell that is. Well, Let's go here. So I already went over with you guys a little bit. Here's a little bit more about J.D. Vance as well. He is the junior senator from Ohio with only two years in government. But J.D. Vance is one of former President Trump's biggest defenders. Because I want to help Donald Trump get elected because it's really important that he become the next president. In the Senate. Ukraine. How can we defend Ukraine's borders when we're not even defending our own American border? And on the campaign trail. So the question is, are we going to send America first fighters to Washington, D.C.? He's one of the leading voices of Trump's MAGA America First movement, not holding back and pushing the former president's agenda. The Republicans, we need to govern like we won the majority the American people gave us, not like a bunch of cowards. New faces. But that hasn't always been so the case. Exactly. This was Vance in 2016. Right. I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. He and was I, deeply I, I, critical of Trump uh, then. But here's Vance just six years later. The president is right. I wasn't always nice, but the simple fact is he's the best president of my lifetime, and he revealed the corruption in this country like nobody else. Running for Senate in 2022 in Ohio as an extremely pro-Trump candidate. Uh, I was wrong about Donald Trump. I didn't think he was going to be a good president, Brett. He was a great president. Vance shot the fame as the author of Hillbilly Elegy, a memoir about his upbringing in a poor, hard-hit part of Ohio. He then enlisted in the Marines, went to Yale Law School and to venture capital, and then to the Senate, his first role in government. On the major issues, Vance has said he would support a national ban on abortion after 15 weeks, but is for exceptions, including for rape and the life of the mother. On immigration, Vance has called for finishing Trump's southern border wall. And on the issue of the 2020 presidential election, then-Senate candidate Vance suggested he would have supported fraudulent slates of pro-Trump electors. If I had been vice president, I would have told the states like Pennsylvania, Georgia, and so many others that we needed to have multiple slates of electors. And I think the U.S. Congress should have fought over it from there. That is now the father of two, just 39 years old, after not even a full two years in government, is set to step onto the biggest political stage in the world. So that's him. And this is also him. Let's go into this too. Please make sure to take, please, please make sure to take that poll. Oh my gosh. Who is the real JD Vance? Well, the real JD Vance, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. As somebody who doesn't like Trump myself, the elites will write about Donald Trump, right? I'm a never Trump guy. 
I never liked him. He's the best president of my lifetime, and he revealed the corruption in this country like nobody else. I can't stomach Trump. I think that he's noxious and is leading the white working class to a very dark place. I think that he was a good president. I think he made a lot of good decisions for people. I think you're not a Trump supporter from what I've read. Am I right? Is that a fair assessment? Yeah. yeah. I didn't vote for Trump. All around, he was a great president. I'm 37 years old. Certainly the best president of my lifetime. As somebody who doesn't like Trump myself, the elites were right about Donald Trump, right? I'm a never Trump guy. What's the strategic of Trump picking J.D. Vance? A former never Trumper, now he's full on MAGA. Was this smart or, or was this 4D chess or is Trump playing checkers? Please take the poll because I'm honestly, I'm at a point right now where I'll get to that in a second. I'll get to that in a second because I honestly really do think that this really has nothing to do with Trump choosing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I really think. And I I share what Fiorella Isabel said on Twitter. Fiorella Isabel said Trump's anti-establishment, but somehow billionaire funded. Uh, I got to be careful with this word. Zionist CIA beloved VP who opportunistically had a change of heart from anti-Trump to MAGA. What a truly threatening duo the deep state must be shaking in their boots. J.D. Vance got $167,324 from the pro-Israel lobby. This is from Track IPAC. Also, tweets from J.D. Vance back two years ago. It says, American hospitals are overwhelmed. It's time to take this seriously. As a start, let's fire thousands of nurses who refuse to take the jab. That will help. Wait one second. Wait one cotton picking minute. This man is pro mandate. <laughs> he said, So this person said COVID infections per 100,000 residents. It talks about New York and Florida. And then in 2021, J.D. Vance said the jab and mask mandates in New York are working great to help stop the spread. So J.D. Vance was actually pro-mandate, too. Now, however you feel about them, this just shows how J.D. Vance fares within this argument, right? How he flip-flops. See what I mean? That's why I said... He's like a catfish on a boat. He's flip-flopping, right? You don't know where he stands. All right, so let's go here. J.D. Vance says, I'm trying to say that Assange fits pretty neatly into the bad bucket, and I wish people would stop hanging on his every word. So look, J.D. Vance was also against Assange. He's against press freedom, meaning... J.D. Vance is also anti-free speech. He's anti-free press. That's who J.D. Vance is. This is the man that's going to be a heartbeat away from the presidency if Donald Trump wins. J.D. Vance, to me, is no better than Kamala Harris. And then one more. Opinion, Barack Obama and me. J.D. Vance is also a lawyer, went to Yale Law School. So therefore, is there really much difference between J.D. Vance and Barack Obama? <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. So thank you very much for that, uh, Fiorella Isabel. And... I just want to share this as well, too, because J.D. Vance is not for workers, never has been, never will be. 
Now, if you are a white working class person, you need to know who this person that Donald Trump picked is. Donald Trump shows that he's not for you guys. So shout out to Status Quo for this. It says in a stunning exchange, National Travel and Safety Board Chair told J.D. Vance, Norfolk Southern not only ignored repeated warnings from owners of toxic vinyl chloride rail cars that it was unnecessary to detonate five cars over East Palestine, Norfolk hid this from Governor Mike DeWine and EP Fire Chief before detonation. So this is J.D. Vance speaking with Norfolk Southern. I won't ask you to speak to motivations here, but when you have an unnecessary, uncontrolled burn that poisoned a lot of people, that then led to rapid transit of train traffic, a lot of people, including me, are wondering, did they do this not because it was necessary, but because it allowed them to move traffic and freight more quickly? And if so, uh, that is an extraordinary thing that I think requires a lot of further work from this committee and from others. But uh, we will we will stop there because I see my time is up. Thank you, Chair Hamidi. May, may I add something yes. something yes. to that, um, Senator? It's it's even uh, you know I would say the factual uh, information in our docket shows that OxyVinyls was on scene and providing information to Norfolk Southern and their contractors uh, on the fourth, fifth, and sixth. They informed them that polymerization, they believed polymerization was not occurring and there was no justification to do a vent and burn. Uh, rightfully, Norfolk Southern's contractors said, uh, ruled out hot tapping and transloading because it would have been a, a potential safety issue for their employees, but there was another option, let it cool down. It was cooling down. We know for a fact that when that pressure relief device went off, that it had to have been above 185 degrees. Later, much late, over the course of 22 hours, that uh, tank car was cooling, not to mention the other four tank cars that were only between 64 and 69 degrees. So OxyVinyls was on scene providing information to uh, Norfolk Southern's contractor who was in the room when the decision made with, was made and when it, uh, advice was given to the governor of Ohio, to the incident commander, they were not given full information because no one was told OxyVinyl uh, 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 was on scene. They were left out of the room. The incident commander didn't even know they existed. Neither did the governor. So they were provided incomplete information to make a decision. Yes, go ahead, Senator Vance. Oh, your mic. My, my line of questioning, I just want to be clear here, is not a criticism of the incident commander or of the governor. I think no. it's a criticism of the people on the ground who provided inadequate right. information and provided inadequate information, I think, to the great detriment of the community on the ground. Now, this is extraordinary work by your team, but this is a really, really troubling set of circumstances. This town very, very well may have been poisoned to facilitate the rapid movement of freight, or at the very least, it was poisoned for reasons that we can't identify. That should really concern every single person on this committee. Okay, so that was him uh, speaking to that person testifying. Um, I won't. And then this is from. Jordan Sheraton says J.D. Vance was directly told by NTSB chair that Norfolk Southern intentionally and unnecessarily chemically nuked East Palestine, Western Pennsylvania, permanently sickening thousands and acknowledged that Norfolk Sultan Southern poisoned uh, EP East Palestine to open train tracks quicker and didn't call for criminal charges. My thing is, is that, yes, that is correct. My thing is, if you knowingly poison a town full of people and didn't call for criminal charges? Why? Why did you not? The corporations have won. 
ultimately that's what it is. The corporations have placed in their handler for Donald Trump. And Donald Trump knows this. It's not anything new. The deep state got a guy in. <laughs> oh, man. So that's what happened. But there's also something that happened at the Republican National Convention as well that I want to direct attention to. And uh, I want to share this as well because I think it's also really important. I can't believe J.D. Vance actually did that. Are you a racist? Oh, my God. Let me see. Let's go into this, too. I want to share this as well, because this is something that... This is something that I didn't wasn't expecting. Amber Rose at the RNC convention. This was interesting. I did not have this on my bingo card. Let's go. My name is Amber Rose. I'm a model and entrepreneur. Thank you. Hang on. Kanye's ex-girlfriend? What's Kanye's ex-girlfriend doing there? Okay. <sighs> Jesus. But most importantly, I'm a mother. My whole world revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, and giving them an opportunity for a better life. That's something that unites all American parents, whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals, we all want a better country for our children. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump president of the United States. Now, you may be wondering why I'm up here telling you this. I'm no politician, and I don't want to be. But I do care about the truth. And the truth is that the media has lied to us about Donald Trump. The media has lied to us about a lot of things. Uh, the media has perpetuated, and like I said this on Sunday on the JB Show, the media has lied and perpetuated a divide among workers in order to keep us divided. The media has lied about Joe Biden. The media has lied about Donald Trump. The media has told the truth about Joe Biden. The media has told the truth about Donald Trump. It is all at a ploy to keep the workers divided. That's what it has been. This is no different uh, to continuously further the division because people like Amber Rose here is trying to keep you in a duopoly and trying to keep you played like as always. The Democratic Party and the Republican Party play you like an 808. That's what they do. And now they're using Miss Rose here to keep people in the duopoly so that if you're a black person and you're sick and tired of the Democratic Party, well, it's like, well, come to the Republican Party. But that's not going to help you either. Going to one side of the counter versus the other side of the counter, they're both workmates. It doesn't matter whether it's Amber Rose or some liberal that's arguing for the Democrats. It doesn't really matter. Because ultimately, who wins? The Republicans and the Democrats are working for the same billionaires. 
And we'll get to one of those billionaires in a little bit. But ultimately, when people like Amber Rose, when they carve her out, it's really to appeal to black people, which I'm going to be real with you. We don't forgot about her. We forgot about her. Like, who, who is she really influencing? Right? But that's what they card out. I guess we see why she was with Kanye. I know this because for a long time, I believed those lies. So I'm here to set the record straight. The first person I knew who supported Donald Trump was my father. I was shocked. My entire family is racially diverse. And I believed the left-wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. My father said, no, he's not, Amber. What are you talking about? And when I insisted, he said, prove it. So oh, that's easy. That is, <laughs> that's so easy. Oh my goodness. Uh, first of all, let's let's go to the Central Park Five. That was that. Girl, I can do that right off the top of my head. What are you talking about? Right? And then on top of it, uh, making sure that Black people aren't uh, able to become, uh, to, to rent within their apartment buildings. Look, just because they take pictures with rappers, just because they hang out with Black people, doesn't mean that they're not racist. You know how many racist people are actually married to Black people? You know how many racist white people are actually have Black kids? Oh, come on, Amber. Really? Donald Trump is just as racist as Joe Biden. Congratulations, Amber. You played yourself. Actually, no. This is actually not her playing herself. This is actually her getting money. This is Amber Rose coming into the same industry as Candace Owens, a black woman that's in conservative circles. Oh, she's about to get paid. Amber is about to get paid. That's what this is. She saw what Candace Owens did, and she's like, Aha, I want to get paid too. That's what this is. Payday. <laughs> the grift be grifting. <laughs> That's what they see what this is. We all can see it, baby. Come on now. I tell you, man. This is crazy. Oh, my gosh. This is no... Oh, Jesus. So to prove my father wrong, I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. People have to do their research. I watched all That is also true. But some areas that you go to can also be skewed in one way or another. Especially when it comes to corporate media. And like I said, like like I said on Sunday, what happened on Saturday at the Donald Trump rally is also the fault of corporate media, both conservative corporate media and liberal corporate media. They all bear responsibility. So if you're constantly looking at conservative corporate media or their outlets in order to form your opinion, well, of course, you're going to look at Donald Trump and say, oh, well, there's all these things you're saying about him isn't true at all. It's the same thing if you look at corporate li liberal media. Oh, well, everything you're saying about Joe Biden isn't true at all. When in reality, both of those are two sides of the same coin and they're constantly lying to you. So guess what? Conservative media is going to tell you all these positive things about J.D. Vance. And then liberal corporate media is going to tell you all the negative things about J.D. Vance. When in reality, you should not be looking at it from a liberal and conservative lens. You have to look at it from a 
worker lens versus the parasite class lens. The workers versus parasite class, you need to look at it from there. And who is the people that are propping up people like J.D. Vance? Who's people that propping up the Republican and Democratic parties? It is the parasite class. This is why you need to leave both parties. Because whether they're going to cart out somebody like, whether they cart out somebody like a Taraji P. Henson or an Amber Rose, they're both doing the same thing. Taraji is being used by the Democratic Party. Amber Rose is being used by the Republican Party. Why? Because they're trying to court black people now. But in the end, who wins? It's the corporations. J.D. Vance don't care about you. Kamala Harris don't care about you. Donald Trump don't care about you. Joe Biden don't care about you. The Democrats don't care about you. The Republicans don't care about you. If that was the case, your material conditions would have gotten better under either party. But it doesn't happen. So when it comes to looking at people like J.D. Vance, who was picked by Donald Trump, you got to remember, nobody won but the corporate masters. That's who won. And this is why the system needs to change. Because they'll keep putting corporatists and people who are against the workers in your face. They are playing in your face. If you're a conservative and if you're trying to vote for Trump, baby, you got played. You got played big time. Join the rest of us workers. We're on the other side waiting for you. Thank you so very much for watching my channel, and I deeply appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. If you wish to support the channel further so I can keep bringing you content that is educational and informative, you can become a patron on patreon.com forward slash jbfon. You can find that link in the pinned comment or in the description below. No matter what you give, you'll be supporting independent media and education that helps make the world better. Thank you so much, and you can watch more of my content here. Mwah. Forehead kisses, and have a beautiful day.